Yeah. You know, it's uh, interesting. That there, there is wisdom, isn't there? And that there's nothing in the past that I can actually change. But I can repent. I, 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 I can, uh, no, no, one, uh, I can resign to it, right? Having a spirit of resignation to what is, not just what is fixed in the past, but what is presently being fixed in the present, to have a spirit of holy resignation to those things. Because after all, that these things do occur by the permissive will of God. And obviously, uh, God is perfectly aware of what he permits, of course, and knows exactly in what way he will use it all for our good, even though it may not seem that way at first. Uh, usually with hindsight, we can look back and we can see how we were given great graces. We were given great opportunities often uh, as a result of brokenness, addictions, loss, grief, these sorts of things. We find in them opportunities to develop virtues that we would not have been able to develop. There's no use for patience or long suffering or, or anything else if um, there weren't trials and tribulations. So no need for temperance when there isn't any excess. No, no, no room for prudence when everything is straightforward. No room for courage where there aren't any anxieties or fears that we face. Because things do seem to be bad at times, is what gives us the opportunity to develop virtues we would otherwise not have been able to develop. And we can't allow these opportunities to pass by. Yeah. 